Uh, welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial. This one might be a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but it's brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to talk about artboards in Photoshop CC. I can't get entirely into it because we could do a 20 minute video on this, but artboards are super cool and they're useful for all kinds of things. Underneath the move tool, we have the artboard tool. Now, this artboard tool, basically, well, artboards are going to allow you to sort of have multiple versions of your Photoshop document or multiple copies of your Photoshop document within the same document. Think of it as uh, different artboards and Illustrator. Um, InDesign allows you to have different pages, all kinds of different page design applications that might have multiple pages. That's almost what this is. We can export each of these artboards out as a separate image. Um, you could use it to create like your next presentation with a bunch of different slides. Here we're using it for this iPhone UI. Um, and by the way, these UI graphics are from 365psd.com. It's a great site with all kinds of free PSDs. You should definitely check it out if you never have before. So anyway, we have three artboards, main menu, side menu, order screen. The layers panel uh, reflects that. And if I open up like main menu, you can see all of our normal layers just like a normal Photoshop document. So let's talk about the artboard tool. You can drag out a new artboard just by drawing one. And now we have, you can see artboard one. And I've got smart guides turned on so I can like quickly align this perfectly with what I've got going on. If I open up my properties panel here and I have that artboard selected, we can choose all kinds of presets here. See iPad Retina, iPhone 5, iPhone 6. Let's go with iPhone 6. And uh, there we go. We now have another exact sort of iPhone 6 screen just like we've already used. You can add quickly additional artboards by hitting these little plus icons. See, just boom, another iPhone 6 artboard. We don't need another one though. Uh, so those are a couple ways you can add iPhone, or, or I'm sorry, you can add artboards. You can also duplicate, well, I'm going to delete this one here by just selecting it and hitting the delete icon or the delete button on my, my keyboard. You can duplicate an entire artboard by holding down your alt or option key. Now this is again with the artboard tool. Alt option and just drag it right over to the side. Boom. We've just duplicated. We now have order screen copy. So let's say we wanted to like change the color just of the button. We could do that and bam, we have an immediate comp of that design in seconds. So that's great. You can duplicate an artboard. You can also go ahead and rotate an artboard. So let's say, let's just duplicate this again. Um, and let's say we wanted to show somebody what this was going to look like in landscape view. Well, again, with the artboard tool, uh, you can just select landscape view right there. Now, obviously, we would need to reorientate, uh, reorientate the actual layers within the artboard, but it's all doable. I'm going to delete that entire artboard. That's great. Uh, what else do we have to talk about? Well, you can obviously resize your artboard once you've created it just like that. I don't want to do that. I'm working with the iPhone 6 preset. That's great. All right. And the last thing I want to show you is when you export this document, I'm going to go back to the move tool uh, and just click anywhere on the layers panel here to just get rid of the little transform menu. We can go file export and choose export as and we can quickly export all of our artboards. You can see they're going to line up right over here. Boom, boom, boom as three different images. So this is great if you're creating sort of uh, an image based slideshow or something like that. You can quickly export out all of these images just by boom, export all. So again, a little bit longer, whoop, a little bit longer than 30 seconds for this Photoshop tutorial, but it's the artboard tool and it's artboards in general in Photoshop. There's a ton of stuff you can use them for. They're really cool. They're really flexible. They're really powerful. And that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.